So I'm getting dressed for a girls' night out to go see the movie Bad Moms. And as part of my bad mom outfit, I have on a pair of ripped jeans. Now, to me, that's bad because clothes with holes in them are never a fashion statement. When my kids see me, their mouths drop open and I explain to them, I only have these on because it's my bad mom's outfit. They started cracking up. That's the best you could do at being a bad mom? So I asked them, well, what could I do that would make me a bad mom? And one of their responses was, well, you could not pick us up from school. So like if I was late picking you up from school, that would make me a bad mom. And they said, no, no. Like if you dropped us off at school and never came back to pick us up, like if you abandoned us, that would be being a bad mom. If you were late, that would be just being a busy mom. And that's when I had this epiphany. Ask other people what their expectations are of you before you try to live up to them. You see, I'd spent a lot of time and energy doing things that I thought were really important for my kids, things that they wanted me to do, when as it turns out, they thought I was a great mom because I hadn't abandoned them or poisoned them. Now, of course, they were joking a little bit, but the bottom line is that their expectations of me were far lower than the expectations that I had of myself. And I'm not alone. There are millions of moms stressed out, trying to fulfill a set of unrealistic expectations that largely go unquestioned. So here's what I'd like you to do. Identify a person in your life. It could be a spouse, a partner, a child, a coworker, and ask them this one question. What would I need to do in order to make you feel that I was doing my part in this relationship? Just listen. You might be surprised at what you discover. Remember, ask other people what their expectations are of you before you try to live up to them. To get more insight on how to manage your unrealistic expectations that you probably have of yourself, I want you to check out this book by Katrina Alcorn. It's called Maxed Out, American Moms on the Brink. This was a very helpful book in me understanding that I'm not alone, I'm not going crazy, and that there are a lot of solutions that we can implement as individuals, but also in our society to support working caregivers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.